Much better. Now let's order some tile saw blades. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, we're going to be discussing and comparing eight very popular tile saw blades, 10 inch wet tile saw blades. We will discuss what their benefits are, what the costs are per blade, and what blade performs better with different types of material such as ceramic stone or very hard porcelain. First, let's give you the cost on each blade. Now we will start with the cheapest and move down the list with the most expensive. First blade, the cheapest blade, made by Concord, runs $25. The second blade is made by QEP, the Black Widow. This runs $38. Now the next two blades is the DeWalt XP4 and the MK Hot Dog. These both run competitively at $44 each. We next have a Bosch 10 inch blade that runs $50. Here we have the Pearl P4 and the Beast Porcelain. This Pearl runs $60, the Beast runs $70. And the last 10 inch tile saw blade we have is the RTC Shield Turbo that runs upwards of $100. All right, let's go outside, lay these blades on a table, unpackage them and just compare one from another. Here we go. Now you have to look at this video objectively as everybody has their own go-to favorite blade. So real quick, with that being said, let us know in the comments below what your go-to blade is, what your favorite tile saw blade is. And also I've got to say, any new blade out of the packaging, most of them will cut about the same. A clean cut with brand new diamonds. It all depends on which blade will perform better on certain materials and which blade will last longer with harder materials. Let's show you each blade really quick up close. And again, we will move from least expensive to the most expensive here. First blade is the Concord. Right off the bat, thick, thick rim. The thickest rim out of all of these blades. Feels a bit heavy. Very aggressive rim as well. Here is the Black Widow, much lighter, much thinner rim for, I'd imagine, much more precise cuts for softer material. Here's the DeWalt XP4. Again, fairly thin rim here. You have your slots here to breathe and cool the blade off. I've gone through a lot of these blades. Here is your Hot Dog by MK. Feels about the same weight as the DeWalt. Thin rim. Slots here to breathe and cool off 
the blade. Here we have the Bosch. It does not have any slots on the ridge. But this blade advertises ceramic and stone, so it's specifically meant for cutting softer materials. Bosch. Here we've got the P4 by Pearl. This is one of the more popular tile saw blades. You have an arbor here, fairly aggressive diamonds and rim, P4. Moving on to the Beast Porcelain, another porcelain blade. Let's show you. Slots on the rim to cool and breathe for the blade. Very thin rimmed blade, very large arbor here. Beast. And last we have the Shield Turbo by RTC. Now I haven't used this blade yet. It feels fairly heavy, very aggressive rim. I've used the four inch blade Shield Turbo and I loved it. It's a very aggressive blade specifically for harder materials such as porcelain. Looking forward to trying this blade out. Turbo Shield. Okay guys, the time has come. It's time to make some cuts. Now I've got to stress this point. All of these blades are brand new. They will cut very well out of the packaging. So I'm going to look for three things. The ease of pressure when I push the tile through the blades, the sound that it gives off, whether it's a quiet blade or a loud blade, and of course, the quality of the cut, which cuts cleaner, which will provide more chipping on the tile. So, let's show you what we're going to cut. We will start with porcelain. We will make one cut per blade on this textured hard three-eighths of an inch porcelain tile. We will also make one cut per blade on this soft textured ceramic tile. Now, without further ado, let's pull the saw out, fill it with water, plug it in, and test these tile saw blades out. Here we go. Okay, we got our ceramic, our porcelain. We will start with the cheapest and move all the way up to the most expensive. And I will make the cuts very, very quick for this video. And then we will show you the results. Here we go.
Well, there you go, the results. Keep in mind, the right side is the cut of each blade. You've got your $25 Concord all the way up to the $100 RTC. Now, real quick, we'll start with the noise level. The loudest blade, in my opinion, was the Bosch, as well as the Concord, and the most quiet blade, P4, and the MK over here. Now, the blade that was the easiest to push through the hard porcelain material would be these thin rimmed blades, the QEP, DeWalt, MK, and then coming in second would be these three here, P4, Beast, RTC. So now we'll go to the cleanest cut and the roughest cut. We'll start with the roughest, with the most blowout and the most chipping. We'll have to say this $25 Concord right here had the most blowout and chipping. Right behind that, it looks like it was the Bosch. Again, this is specifically, I believe, designed for ceramic and stone. And then everything else is about the same. The cleanest cuts right off the bat We'll start here. It looks like it's the 10 inch beast, the MK, and the P4. Now again, I wanna stress this fact. It's very simple and easy to clean up any rough edges with these simple $10 diamond pads. Let's quickly show you. And there you go similar to your factory edge. Okay guys, we'll move to the ceramic. Now real quick, again, let us know what your favorite blade is, what blade you've had the most success with. Scroll down to the comment section below while I get started with the ceramic cuts. Now keep in mind these ceramic cuts I'll make much quicker. The process will be much faster than the porcelain, but again, Comments down below. Scroll down. Let us know what uh, you've had the most success with, what your go-to blade is. Okay, here we go. And as expected, all cuts are fairly similar. The worst and roughest cut of them all is this $25 Concord blade. Obviously, it has the most aggressive rim here and the thickest rim, but again, this can be knocked down with a diamond pad. The best cuts, I mean, this is splitting hairs here, but running my finger down each cut, I would say the best cuts on this ceramic would be the DeWalt, the MK, and the Beast. If you're working with very hard porcelain, look for something, one, with an aggressive rim, aggressive diamonds, such as the Concord, the P4, the RTC. Also, if you're doing a lot of mitering, to avoid having a lot of flex in the blade when you're trying to miter cut that 45 degree angle, you wanna find a blade that has a thicker arbor right here in the center, such as the P4, the Beast, and the RTC Razor. So all in all, all good blades. It really depends on what you use them for. Well, there you guys go. Let us know in the comments section below what your go-to blade is, what your favorite tile saw blade is, and I'll see you on the next video.